today's video is going to be a prom slash Debs makeup tutorial. I did a poll on Twitter the other day asking you what videos you would like to see me film next and many of you said that you wanted to see a prom makeup tutorial so I'm going to do that for you today. So without making this video super long, if you want to see how I got this look then just keep watching. So I'm starting with the Rimmel Match Perfection foundations. I'm using two and I'm mixing them together. One shade is 103 True Ivory and the other one is 303 True Nude. I'm mixing both of these on the back of my hand just because I want the foundation to match the rest of my body. So I have fake tan on now. So the lightest foundation doesn't match me and then the darkest foundation doesn't match me. So I had to mix both of these just to make sure that it matches the rest of me. And I'm blending that with a Real Techniques sponge. Next I'm using the Maybelline Eraser Eye Concealer and I'm just applying that under my eyes, on my forehead, down the bridge of my nose and a little bit on my chin. And I'm blending that with a Real Techniques Contour Brush just because I find it's little and it just fits perfectly anywhere where I need to blend the concealer. Next I'm using the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder in 1 Transparent and I'm just setting that with a Real Techniques powder brush. I'm taking a smaller brush just so I could set the concealer under my eyes. It's easier to do it with a smaller brush than the powder brush that I used a second ago. Next I'm using the Barry M Chisel Cheeks Contour Kit and I'm using the darkest shade in the palette just to contour my cheeks and I'm applying that with a Real Techniques Sculpting Brush. Then I'm just blending everything with the Real Techniques sponge just to make sure that it doesn't look harsh or anything like that. Next I'm using the Soap and Glory Solar Powder and I'm just bronzing my face with that. And I'm using the same brush that I used for my contour. Next I'm using the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Soft and Gentle and I'm using this as a highlighter so I'm taking that on a brush and just putting it on the tops of my cheeks. I'm then taking a smaller brush and just putting the highlighter on my brow bone. I'm using MAC Fix Plus Spray and I'm just spraying that all over my face just to set my face. I'm then doing my brows with the Soap and Glory Archery Pencil. Next I'm taking the Maybelline Color Tattoo in Creme de Nude and I'm using that as my eyeshadow base.
I'm going to use the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. And I'm also putting tape beside my eyes just so I could get a good eyeshadow look at the end. I'm taking the shade Semi Sweet. It's just a dark brown shade and I'm putting that in the crease and in the outer parts of my lid. I'm then taking a fluffy brush and I'm taking the shades Milk Chocolate and Salted Caramel and I'm blending the crease up to my brow bone. With a clean blending brush, I'm taking the shade White Chocolate, which is just a white shade, and I'm putting that on my brow bone, and just blending everything further. I'm then taking the eyeshadow by MUA in the shade Copper, and I'm going to apply that in the middle of my lid. Next, I'm taking the shade Champagne Truffle, which is just a light, shimmery shade, and I'm putting that in the inner corners of my eyes and just on the brow bone again. Taking a fluffy blending brush once again, I'm using the shade Salted Caramel and I'm taking that all over the lid and I'm just blending everything together. I'm going to take off the tape and I'm repeating the same steps as I did. So I'm taking the shades Salted Caramel and Semi Sweet and I'm putting that underneath the lower lash line. This is going to bring everything together, the whole eye look. I'm also taking the MUA Copper Eyeshadow and I'm putting that in the middle of the lash line as well just so it matches the top lid I'm then using the same concealer that I applied before and I'm just cleaning up the edges of the eyeshadow After blending all of that, I'm taking the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. It's a little bit of a change for me, I'm not gonna lie, since I always use my Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. But I really, really like this one too, and I'm going to have to purchase like the full-sized one because this is only the travel-sized one. But it makes my lashes so big and, oh, I, it's just great. It looks amazing, and it stays on for such a long time as well. Now I have a couple of lip options for you, so I'm going to show you three different shades. The first one is the MAC Russian Red Lipstick. It's a lovely um, red one, so if your dress is red or anything like that, you could wear this one and it would look really pretty with this eye look. Or another option is the NYX Lingerie Liquid Lipstick in Push Up. This would be amazing because it dries like nothing else and it just doesn't come off for absolutely hours so it'd be amazing for um, a night out 
And the last lip option I have for you is the Pennies or Primark Lip Crayon in Nude. It's the only nude one they have, so you'll be able to find it. And as you can see, I'm putting that on my hand because I want to show you that it's exactly a dupe for the MAC Honey Love lipstick. So if you're looking into buying Honey Love, you can try the lip crayon first and see if you like the shade. So I'm taking the lip crayon and I'm putting that on my lips. And I'm taking the NYX Butter Gloss in Creme Brulee and I'm just putting that all over my lips because the two shades really match each other and look really nice together. <laughs> Last but not least, I'm taking the MAC Fix Plus once again and I'm just spraying that all over my face just to set everything in place. And that's the finished look. So that's it for today's video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And if you're going to recreate this makeup look, then be sure to send me your pictures on Twitter, Instagram, or even my Snapchat. I will leave all my links down below. And I will see you next Tuesday. Bye!